Hi, I'm Bob Moore with Alpha Software. Today we're going to take a look at using the fingerprint scanner on an iOS device to authenticate the user on the device itself. So we'll be using a fingerprint scanner plugin for PhoneGap. We've made this really simple for you to test out. Now we've got some templates that are using uh, PhoneGap plugins. If you come up and uh, open up uh, a new UX component, you'll notice I uh, just look for the uh, phone gap prefix. In this case, we're going to use uh, device user authentication, uh, local device authentication using the fingerprint scanner. It'll tell you a little bit about it. It'll tell you what plugins are required. And you can just go ahead and open that up. You, if you'd like, you can just quickly look at working preview. Of course, this is not going to work because uh, we're using native functionality, and this must be uh, uh, built with PhoneGap build. But you can see, get an idea of what it's going to do. You can look at the design. See, we've got a panel navigator in here. We've got multiple panel cards. Um, panel card two will transition into, into view when the uh, fingerprint um, is correct. So once we've authenticated uh, the user, uh, panel card 2 will come into view. We look at the client side events. Uh, the one being used here is on PhoneGap Ready. We're going to call the initialize function. In our JavaScript functions, you can see all the code associated with making this work. So our initialize sets up the, uh, we're using the status bar plugin also to uh, uh, set up the status bar so that it appears a very similar fashion to uh, iOS 6. Um, and then we also resize the, the uh, panel uh, card objects to accommodate the, uh, uh, the revision that's made there. Uh, and then what we're going to do is just verify that the device itself has a, um, the ability to scan a, a fingerprint. And so if you've got an iOS, uh, I'm sorry, if you have an iPhone 5S or greater, uh, then you can use the fingerprint scanner. And over here we've got our function for verify identity, and this is using the plugin to verify the fingerprint. And uh, our success function is right here and transitions that panel into view. All you really need to do right now is just simply save this. We'll save it. We'll call it uh, test touch ID 2. Go ahead and save that. Now just jump into the PhoneGap Builder. In this case, I've also already built a, pro a project. Um, you can create a new one. iOS uh, is what you'd select. Uh, when you select the component itself, you'll notice that the plugins will be set because uh, they've been saved along with the component. So in this case, we're going to be using um, the notification plugin, the fingerprint touch ID, status bar and uh, whitelist is checked by default. I don't think that's used within this one. Once you do that, you just save and upload to PhoneGap Build. I'm going to go ahead and scan in. And now will run the, uh, the, the application. I'm going to go ahead and tap on Scan Fingerprint. And now I'm going to touch the uh, uh, button to scan my finger, but I'm going to use the wrong finger. So we should get a failure here. So it says, nope, try again. Uh, I could enter in a passcode if I wanted to, or I could cancel on out. But I'm going to go ahead and try again, and this time we'll use the, the right finger. And there you can see it verified, and we transitioned into panel card 2. So this component will help you to uh, experiment with the uh, fingerprint scanner plugin, and uh, there's an awful lot of uses for this on iOS devices. Thanks.